Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I'm doing the second vid on the Stratton Laguera or Laguera. Um, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope so. Um, but uh, these are really nice watches and this is the Laguera Bullhead. So before I start, again, I'd like to thank Bob from Time to Go Travel and Time Pieces for sending Stratton these Stratton watches out and Stratton for sending them out to us for, uh, you know, letting us do a review and uh, share with you these awesome timepieces. They're going to go in a tour. I'll leave the links to the channel below and I'll leave those links to Stratton below. Uh, his kickstart link for these guys right here and the standard. So you can pick those up, uh, you know, at the 35% discount and they're limited quantities. So if you want one of these guys, uh, you better jump on them. They come in five different colors, uh, just some really neat combos you can pick out and kind of make your own watch if you want. Uh, very, very nice indeed. And I did fail to <clears throat> mention last video, I said I, the wrong price. I think the quartz, uh, this this guy and in the standards about 330 US and I think the uh, automatic is around 800 and change be sure to check out their site so you so you know what they are and if you notice this right here yeah Fridays I pick up a Starbucks coffee after work and I know a lot of guys and gals that do that every single day so here is an idea this is a cheap one. Look, they even write my name on there. Isn't that nice? They're really nice. They're really nice at Starbucks. They, they really accommodate you. So this is a cheapo. This is an El Grande, and it's um, and it's just a dark roast pour over. My favorite coffee with light, heavy cream. I love it. So here's the deal. I have a suggestion for all you guys and gals that get a Starbucks every day. They're about two sixty three bucks. Okay, just skip them. Make your own coffee at home. Skip the Starbucks and put that $3 a day back and you can have one of these awesome bullheads. Absolutely awesome bullheads. So do that. You can have one in 100 days. Not a big deal. Not a big deal or a bad idea. As you know, I am a big bullhead fan and I was wearing my... Uh, Seiko bullhead because these guys just got me into it and these are so beautiful. I mean, look at this beautiful color combination, the orange and black. You can wear this while you're riding your Harley. I mean, just just great. And you can see those beveled hands. Look at that light reflecting off them and the stainless steel applied markers. Just nice. Really really nice tachymeter in the chapter ring there i really like that and just an overall great looking piece for sure well, let's just check this guy out real quick this is the quartz mecha quartz um yeah the seiko vk67 mecha quartz beautiful color combinations similar to the standard the orange black and blue just eye-popping color combos and stratton does a great job with all the all their awesome colors beautiful chapter ring coin edge bezel polished and brushed case really really nice and i gotta say i gotta say this one here is the dlc coated one the black one and that is just so cool i love it dome sapphire crystal on both of these guys so that is a huge huge plus 12 hour bezel domed sapphire crystal bezel 120 click bezel very nice action i mean i love that click it sounds great and the action is awesome everything lines up very very nice great bgw9 super luvanoa i'll put a shot up there uh very well done great loom all around screw down crown with great gnarling on on this guy and on the other one it has this stratton s deep stamped on the end 
very nice and the pushers are very smooth action the starter i'm just going to let that guy run and the stop pusher i love the design of the bullhead it's so different it's so retro and so contemporary at the same time so it's definitely a uh, piece you wear out you're going to get some comments on a good conversation piece just a beautiful unique piece in my book 42 millimeter case width 48 millimeter lug to lug. The Bullhead Mecha Quartz has a 13 millimeter thickness and the Bullhead Automatic has a 16 millimeter thickness. Quite impressive and uh, quite noticeable from the Mecha Quartz. I mean, it doesn't bother me because it's just a big, bold, standalone watch. I, I like that look. That heavy strong look also 22 millimeter band width and both of these watches have wonderful bands on this rally racing strap style uh, band is uh, very comfortable on the wrist uh, great stitching great color combo that orange and black and blue uh, brushed buckle with Stratton logo on the end and the automatic comes with like a suede uh, strap, nice thick leather strap, genuine leather, and it's got that suede topper. Uh, very nice, very, very comfortable on the wrist. Um, just a great looking combo. These watches are 100 meter water resistant with the screw down case back, Stratton logo on the back. Both are the same, I might point out, as with the standards. And last but not least, the VK67 uh, Seiko Mecha Quartz, great movement, both in the bullhead and the standard. Uh, the Valjou 7750 is in this guy. And sometimes people argue that's the best movement ever, the best movement of all times. I'm sure you have your own opinion on that, but it is is an absolutely great movement in this piece so you want a great movement and an awesome looking watch this is the guy for you i also have to point out uh the dials yeah the dials on the automatic are are a little bit different the sub dials on the automatic you got the 12 hour sub dial at three o'clock position the second sub dial at the six o'clock position in a minute sub dial at nine and with the quartz, you have the 60-second uh, counter at the 3 o'clock position, the 12-hour subdial at the 6 o'clock position, and the minute subdial at 9 o'clock position. So a little bit different, but not that much different. You can just pick which uh, style dial you like and which placement of the subdials you prefer. Let's get a wrist shot for you guys on my 7-inch wrist. All right, there you have it, guys. The automatic, little thicker bull head here. little thicker, 16 millimeters compared to the 13. But very nice looking and not awkward at all, at least in my opinion, on my wrist. I love that bold look. Let's take a look at the quartz. All right, there you have it. The beautiful 13 millimeter polished and brushed case of the Mecha Quartz. Hey, before I forget, I just want to quick show you. This is what the Stratton's come in. Really nice travel case. I mean, they send them out. Nice leather case. You got the direction spring bar tool right there. A little nice leather divider here. Protect your watch. Very soft kind of felt velvet type uh, material inside there so you get the whole package with this guy absolutely beautiful watch check out their website i hope you guys are having a great day and stay well